we're going to start off with what might be one of the tougher questions. When you look at the numbers from the most recent polling, you're down double digits. What is the path forward? Is there a realistic enough time to make a difference for you to make up that ground and become governor? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'll, I'll say this. Numbers are numbers, right? And it depends on how you look at them. Truthfully, uh, what I see when I look at the numbers is uh, traditional, electable, centrist Republican won their convention by, more, by the most ever, won the primary by the most ever, and now is running for a general election in which probably 99% of the party is finally united and organized. And I'm running against a candidate who got maybe 47% of his own hard party's vote in one of the most controversial, just very deeply mudslinging campaign that I've seen for a very long time. Uh, many would say when Markell ran against Carney, you know, that was the same thing, but John Carney endorsed Jack Markell after it was over. This time that hasn't happened. You have a big lead in the polls right now, something in the area of double digits, maybe 19 points-ish. What has it been like since you won the primary with that lead? How are you running this campaign or are you looking ahead or what has this last month or two been like? Charlie, I'm a sixth and seventh grade math teacher who 10 years ago decided to run for county office. Now I'm the front runner to be the next governor. I have my head down very focused on the issues facing Delawareans. I don't pay much attention to polls. Plenty of examples of times when people were way up in the polls, things didn't turn out right. Other people were way behind the polls and things turned out fine. We have our head down. We're laser focused on developing the policies that Delawareans need. There are Delawareans now struggling with affordable housing and health care. There are Delawareans without access to quality education. Down particularly in low-lying coastal areas, you have roads flooding every time there's a hard rainfall. These are real problems that require real leadership. And we're really focused on how do we develop those policies? How do we get the right people around the table? How do we make the hard decisions to move the state forward?